All right, all right, let's get into the good and juicy eyeliner pro tips. The first thing I always do is take off my glasses since, well, my eyes are tucked away behind them, and I often put in my contacts, which these days I'm only using my contacts for when I put on eyeliner, just because I'm really into contact, I mean, I'm into glasses. Um, so put on your contacts, you can see what you're doing. Um, if you don't want to put in contacts and you wear glasses, uh, you can just get really close to the mirror. If you're not a glasses person at all and you're just blessed with wonderful, perfect vision, good for you. You can skip this whole step and find a eyeliner applicator of your choice. Um, you can probably, I'm using an eye pencil, a black heart eye pencil, red today. Um, you can probably get it in, via pencil, marker, um, brush. You could probably buy it by the dump truck load. It's, a, it's 2017 after all, and there's websites like Alibaba out there where it's just if you want it, they've got it, and they've got a lot of it. Anyways, then what you're gonna wanna do is locate your eyes on your face. These are, your eyes are gonna be the, both the anchor point for your drawing and how you're gonna be able to tell what you're doing. Uh, because, um, I don't know if you know this, but your eyes are how you see. So then you're gonna t take your eyeliner pencil, um, you're gonna steady your hand, maybe rest your elbow on your desk or, um, Use some sort of sling system bolted to the wall. I don't know how fancy you are, but draw a line on your face. Uh, depending on how traditional you are, you can draw the eyeliner eye decoratory. Some people call this makeup. Some people do use this for makeup. Um, I'm not making any of this up, but you can draw it right on your eye somewhere. Not in your eyeball. Um, some people do it by accident, and you might see someone walking around sometime with a red and inflamed eyeball. Who you might don't ask them why it looks like they were crying. They probably just messed up putting their makeup on. Um, but you can draw anywhere on your face, um, on on your neck, anywhere on your body, on your desk, on the walls. I mean, the sky's the limit. Go draw with eyeliner on the moon, okay? And one of the main difficulties you'll find with eyeliner and when you when you're using it for this even in this makeup tutorial I ran into this problem um, is that the skin on your face despite being attached to your skull is prone to a bit of wiggliness all right it sloshes around a bit and it's not um, I was almost t tempted to get a staple gun and kind of just staple it down in a few places just so it wouldn't slide around as as much and uh, I didn't do this. It's it's better to learn to work through your difficulties, work with them, than to just you know kind of sucker punch them. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe I'm actually I'm not. To, I'm kind of on the fence about that. But maybe the staple thing would work. Is that what Botox is? I'm not sure. Botox kind of creeps me out. I haven't really looked into it much. But anyways, also you'll find that when you go to clean this off eventually, um, some people wear. This stuff out and about in public. Some people only wear it in the privacy of their own home, um, but you probably do want to clean it off before you go to bed so it doesn't get on your pillow, because um, the stuff that I use is very waxy here, um, and it is hard to get off just with water. So you're gonna want to use some soap. I use um, concentrated dish detergent, um, and that way you know for sure when it gets in your eye because it'll sting really bad and you can um, just cry it out, just scream and sob, and just uh, your tears uh, will kind of uh, cleanse your eyeballs. It's safer that way, it's better. It's, it, it's just, it's better to know when there's soap in your eye. You get these, these tearless soaps like Johnson's Baby Shampoo, you could walk around with soap in your eye all day and never know that stuff is so soothing. It's almost like they meant it for people to just pour gallons of the stuff inside their eyes. I don't know, it's kind of backwards. It's better to know, that's all I'm saying. Also, if you're doing this at the beginning of the day, you're gonna to wanna to take this opportunity to give yourself a few stern looks. Um, you can do the sexy looks, but I usually go with stern looks in the mirror um, just to kind of uh, hype yourself up. Not hype yourself up, but get yourself in gear for the rest of the day to make sure you know who you are it's not about knowing who you are, because you know who you are. You're you're Peter. I mean, I'm Peter. You're you. Well, I'm Peter. But it's like I wasn't surprised to see myself in the mirror, but it was good to see me in the mirror and not see someone else. So I scowled a lot while doing this. It's not because I was angry, but it was just 
it's kind of weird to just like grin maniacally at myself. I felt better scowling. That's all I'm saying. It felt, is that bad? I'm not a, I'm not like a scowly, angry person. I just felt better to scowl at myself. So I did. Anyways, it turned out pretty good. And yeah, you can't really complain too much. I mean, it's only your own fault ever, whatever you did to yourself. So walk around and, uh, once you're not in front of the mirror, you should smile a lot because smiles, they just, they just look better. You know, even if you've got weird garbled teeth, each one pointing in a different direction, it, the smile, it lights up your whole face. It's not just about your teeth and your mouth. It's your whole demeanor. Okay. I'm, I'm gesturing right now. My whole demeanor. Okay. 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 Goodbye. That's out. I'm out. This is me. Out. This, this is me with pro tips. Out. <laughs>